Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what you're seeing here. So from this image all the way somewhere down here, I think somewhere, yeah, somewhere down here, I believe. Uh, let's see. This image here. Uh, not this image. Th these are all images you're seeing that are automated. Um around somewhere around this image i believe okay somewhere around this image all the images above it literally every image was either upscaled or created completely through automation i did not type in a single prompt i did not uh, upscale a certain image like i did not click the upscale button like for example if i wanted to upscale this image i click the upscale button right not a single image here did I manually upscale from that point forward. So everything above. Um, like, for example, you're going to see a lot of different images being created here. Didn't create them. This was all upscaled and created through a machine. The reason why I'm showing this is I can't speak too much on this, but I'll kind of give you some pointers, some hints, and some tips. So there is somebody that I met in a forum that created automation tools for AI image generation. So, and when I say automation tools, meaning you have your initial input and then the tool takes that input, knows what you want to do and literally does it for you. The same way if I was to hire a virtual assistant. So if I was to hire a virtual assistant to sit down and create me a bunch of prompts, you know, submit them and take those images and then go through the process clicking the upscale button. And instead of me paying $500 a month for that virtual assistant, and downloading them, I can have a machine that, or a few machines that do that for me. Now, the machines were a little bit pricey. I paid, uh, there were three total machines, one that creates, one that upscales, and one that downloads. Each machine cost $325, I believe, and I paid total $750 for all three, so I got the third one for free. And basically, as you could see here, uh, these are not, like I said, images that I sat down kind of prompting, um, especially like, for example, last night, you could see here it says one day ago, all of these yesterday, all these images were taken care of. I put my initial input. I liked this style images. And then what did I do? I had the rest of the images created for me with automation, right? So I didn't have to sit down and write a prompt for this image. I didn't have to sit down and write a prompt for this image or for this image, or for this image, right? I didn't have to do that. The system took care of it all for me. And once that system is over, I can literally go to that first same image and have another system that creates the upscales for me. So instead of me sitting manually and click, clicking the upscale button over and over and over, the same way a virtual assistant would, the machine does it for me, right? Um, I, I like this process because it speeds up my uh, my need for constant images. If you're familiar, and, and these images are more like comic book style, I don't know if I necessarily would upload these to a stock photography site. Uh, I, some I might. I mean, I'm not going to say I wouldn't. Some I might, but I like these images more for stock photography, like just me personally. Like you can kind of see how they look. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is the automation process to things. Is automation a requirement for massive success within stock photography, especially in the AI world? The answer is absolutely not. Let me get that clear. Absolutely not. It's not required. Does it help dramatically? The answer is absolutely. So some of you have seen my video where I kind of showed how to tag very, very quickly without typing a single keyword in any stock photography site, and yet the keyword, the designs, or the images, not designs, my head is in print, man, um, the images can be tagged for you, right, without, without typing up any keyword, that's an, that's a sample, or a system, as to how to speed up the process, the most important factor, other than quality, is speed, in this game, right, People with 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 assets uploaded, they know what I'm talking about because the more assets you have, the more you stand out, the more money you make, period. There's no other aspect to this game. So 
for me, if there's something that I can do to take the load off of my shoulders and do less work, but yet move faster, it's something I'm going to do. Like it just makes complete sense. So you guys know that I like to hire virtual assistants. Well, if I hired a virtual assistant to sit here and create images and upscale, there wouldn't be anything wrong with that. It wouldn't be bad. It would actually be good. But in this case, I paid, like I said, $750 to take the place of my virtual assistants in this case. Like for this job, I don't need them. So in terms of creation and in terms of upscaling and downloading, I don't need any virtual assistants, right? And they, you know, I have machines now that can do all of this. For purposes of the creator who made those tools, he didn't want me to share uh, the tools on my YouTube channel, so I'm not allowed to share them. But I asked him if I can share the content in my course, and he then said yes. So in my course today, I'll have a section that is going to be, uh, it's going to be labeled like bonus or something like that, and it's going to say automation. Uh, automation, image generation, something like that. And you'll get to see all the videos in there on how I automate the creation of these images. And pretty awesome. Like, it's, it's really cool. It takes the time that's necessary away. So while all these images were be, being created yesterday, I went for a workout. I went, I went outside, started going for a walk, carrying some weights, and, and I went for a light workout, um, which is pretty cool, right? And so I can step away from the computer and yet have various images being created for me. And they're, they're pretty cool. I mean, there's all kinds of different, different images, different styles based on what I set, right? So these images, you know, some of them are, like I said, systematized. Some of them are created through like some automation. Not some of them, but most of them, like all of these are. Uh, let's see here. These images, uh, these images that you saw, like these mascot type images, I'll actually scroll down here uh, a few days ago. All of these USA type ones were created. These mascot images, these dogs, every single one of them was through automation. I didn't create a single photo. And basically what I asked for was all the dog breeds. Okay, um, this here, all these USA type images, like these silhouette type images are all images made through the automation process. I did not sit down manually create any of these. All of these dragon type images didn't do any of that either. All of these type images, like all this kind of stuff, which not only works great for stock photography, but, you know, different businesses that you could use them for. Like people are going to use it. Let's say they want a mascot or a logo of, a, of an elephant. Well, I have oh, oh, so many, I want to say hundreds, but yeah, hundreds of different animals, you know, like leopards and bobcats and all kinds of stuff, crocodiles and all kinds of stuff like this that not only created through a machine, but automated the upscaling and downloading, right? So all it is, it takes a click of a button to get it done. And like I said, what I'm doing is for all the people who join the course, I'll show you who to get the tools from if you want to use them and I'll show how to use them. So uh, like I said, I would show it to my YouTube publicly but the person who created them, he doesn't want them shown. So there's nothing I could do about that. I'm not going to, you know, risk my channel, or risk the content just to show something. But um, I will have it in my course. If anybody is interested, uh, Superstock AI, it will be probably one of the last chapters, if not the last, which, like I said, automation is just a bonus. Like, it's not required. If you want to sit down in front of the computer screen all day and create images, you absolutely can. There's nothing holding you back. You know, you sitting here typing the prompt, uh, you know, clicking the upscale button on every single image, you know, you can absolutely do that. There's no problem with that. I'm not saying that you can't. This is just one of those things that helps speed up the process uh, for me, you know. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave that information in the course. Like I said, I would publicly put it out here. Unfortunately, I just can't. I don't have the permission to do so. Uh, so hopefully this helps out. Um and I'll see you guys soon. But this is, like I said, something that I have been using now, as you can see. And it's helped my creations dramatically. So instead of creating 50 images a day, I can create 250. Instead of creating 200 images a day manually, I can create 450. I can upscale all of them. And all it takes is just literally like maybe two or three clicks. And everything's taken care of throughout time. So 
Uh, this is one of the probably the best time savers that I ever had in this business because once again in this business what's the priority the priority is speed the priority is efficiency and to be honest it doesn't take you know you don't really don't need a person anymore to sit there and do the work for you you could just have a machine do it and that's exactly what I'm doing currently um, once again it's not something that's forced it's not even something that's required you don't need a, a somebody to sit here and do the work for you you don't need a machine to do the work for you you could do it yourself this is just one of those things that are a little added bonus. That's all it is, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, bye.